Hey guys, it's Tanks here. I've been uh, playing Factorio for a while. Got about uh, 300 hours plus in here. And uh, it's been fun. Uh, it's kind of the first time I've ever really played Factorio. Otherwise, it's not really much. I got uh, inspired by this guy on Reddit to make the snake game within Factorio. Uh, prior to this project, I had no knowledge about logic gates at all. Um, it's It's been fun making a game within a game. Uh, it's a work in progress, <laughs> uh, so go easy on me. Uh, but it's been fun uh, doing this. Alright, let's get into the stuff that uh, you guys are gonna make fun of me for. But uh, it's a bunch of RS Norlatches for the head. Basically, it just turns the light on, set another signal, it turns it off. Uh, each one of these little tiny cells are either turn the next one on and turn this one off, or turn the top one on and turn it off. They're just all in sequence, keep it a little more knowledgeable for me. Uh, that was probably the hardest part. <laughs> next is the body. Uh, this took a long time. I think I did like several revisions of this. Couldn't find any other way to do it. Basically, if we zoom in here, uh, basically this is just one little cell. It just keeps the light on. Um, Viva an iron signal strength. Next is the, uh, the food. This basically just extends the uh, signal of the iron. Um, this is one cell. Just RS Norlatches again. It's pretty much the main majority of what I used. Uh, this was my little randomizer to choose which one it was going to pulse. I had to change a lot of the signals due to the fact that they weren't items. They were just uh, one A, B, C, D, you know, those. Uh, this is nothing. Let's skip that. Uh, then we got... Uh, this is basically what counts the food. It goes from 1 to 10. You know, if we put one in, one goes out, which then in turn, if I can reach, let's go out. Come on. All right, and if you do this, it just flips over one to every one of them, which just extends the light. Uh, this was the controller, a little previous thing I built. I just made it so that it couldn't. If you can't go left, if you want to go up, you can't go down. If you want to go left, you can't go right. Didn't really work out in the end. <laughs> Uh, a little buggy still, but uh, I had to come up with that just so that it would tick every time I output a signal to the head. Uh, the controller is all towards this guy. I had nothing to do with this. I got more of steam inspiration from that, so I just took that idea and built on it. Uh, now the problems. <laughs> um, basically, you can invert the snake onto itself and it won't reset the game. I had no idea even to come close of how to flip this. I, I kind of lost interest in the project too as well. Uh, you can actually invert the snake onto itself here and uh, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh, basically it just takes a signal and once it hits two it kind of inverts itself and it shuts the lights off so it looks kind of funny. There's probably a thousand better ways I could have done. I'll leave you guys with a bunch of the resets that I think were kind of kind of cool. Other than that, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, guys.